Let's continue with that story. Mavungu Lirule Ramakanya, the Limpopo MEC and Transport, uh, Transport and uh, Community Safety MEC, rather, joins me now for more on that story. Uh, good evening and thank you so much for your time. An absolutely tragic accident taking place. Let's talk about what you've been able to identify so far in as far as those victims whose lives were claimed. Uh, good, good evening, Kathy, and thanks very much. Indeed, um, it's a very, very tragic situation for us now in the province. But just on the progress, as you are indicating, we have been able now to identify the, the families. Uh, the police are working around the clock to, to go to the next of kin to be able to inform them. We can confirm that the taxi was from Pretoria going to Polukwane. So because of that, the people that were in the taxi have scattered around uh, different areas uh, in the province. But we are happy uh, because there have been those that have been relieved from the hospital. Um, so at least there is progress in terms of that. And... Uh, Immediately when we have finalized to identify the next of kin, we'll be starting with the identification through the DNA. Mm. Of course, a part of what you've done following this accident is that you've again urged motorists to ensure that their vehicles are in a good state before they take on long distance trips, particularly. I mean, when we look at this accident and we compare it to what you've seen over the festive season, uh, do we know yet how? The, the accident rate has been? Uh, currently, we, we, we have not really checked, but I think we are actually competing with last year. You'll remember that uh, our accident last year around this period was above 2,000 um, with fatalities, and I think we, we might have reached the number. You'll, you'll agree with me, Kathy, that uh, with the recent accidents that have happened where we had to do closure of the road, it was when we had more than four, five, six people dying on the spot. So with one accident, we have lost too many lives. And indeed, our campaign focused on just roadworthiness, also even starting with your tires. And the, the accident, it's, a, it's alleged that it was a tire burst, and you can agree. But also the safety of our N1, because all the accidents are happening with head-on coalition with both the north and southbound traffic meeting and um, hitting on each other. So we want to also now, as a province, uh, together with our national department, start to go back on our decisions and plans that we have for the N1. Absolutely devastating. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. Uh, Mavungu Lirule Ramakanya, uh, that is the Limbopo MEC for Transport and Community Safety.